Hey, 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 everybody, it's la la, it's la la. I hope everybody out there is doing good and great, cause I'm doing good myself. I wanna say to all my subscribers and to my new subscribers, hey, 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 I thank you so much for subscribing and supporting my channel, channel. And to everyone who ever left comments under my videos, just expressing your thoughts and expressing your opinions. I appreciate that, y'all. Cause y'all already know at the end of the day Your thoughts is your thoughts And your opinions is your opinions My thoughts is my thoughts And my opinions is Hey, hey. As I said before, I hope everybody out there is doing good and great. I am doing good myself. I hope everyone is keeping y'all hands washed, sanitized, you know what I'm saying? Wearing y'all face meds, basically stand out of the way, okay? <laughs> So anyways, y'all, I had a lot of people coming in my comments, a lot of people in my emails that wanted me to do a reaction on Sky's Life and I believe her name is Reese's Life. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but I believe she is a reactor, y'all, because um, I have ran across her channel before. So it takes time. I'm going to get to it. You know what I'm saying? But let's get on Sky's Life first. I just got done reviewing, just trying to scan through just to see, like, okay, what's really going on? What's really good, okay? And, yeah, it's two-sided. I'm going to speak, you know what I'm saying, as a reactor on her side. And then I'm going to come back and I'm just, you know what I'm saying, give an overall of what the hell I think. So, <laughs> I see Reese's Life did a reaction on Sky's Life. Sky's Life put up a video and was showing her kitchen and stuff. She basically said, I guess it's supposed to have been a clean with me or however. And I'm just going to say, damn, if that's what your kitchen look like, <laughs> having all those kids, girl, don't have no more if you can't keep up on your shit. I'm just saying. Now... I never went over to her page. I have seen her page before, but I have never stopped in to see what's what. I think I stopped one time, and she was at Family Dollar with her kids. You know what I'm saying? So, it didn't catch my eye. I was like, oh, okay, she's another one that like to have babies. But, for as me going over there, just, you know what I'm saying, trying to see really what's up, I have never. So, this time, just uh, scanning Reese's um video and i seen her kitchen i just you know what i'm saying i don't need nothing else to see okay all i'm going to say is that's bad i feel like whew, i don't even know what to say y'all i feel like if that's what your kitchen look like because you can't handle your shit because you have so many kids Either you have so many kids or you just that damn lazy then at the end of the day you don't need nobody you don't need no more kids. You don't need to have no more kids, period, okay? You need to let that go and say that for somebody else that can have them kids and still keep their household together like proud mommy of 12. Yes, a cahoots to her. Because looking at you, girl, you make everybody that is a single mother and that have kids look bad. And I'm including myself in it. So that's why I have to stand up for all the single ladies in the back, you know what I'm saying? And say, when you a single mother and you have one, two, three, maybe even four, five kids. Sometimes that's not what it looks like. And just because y'all see that, that's not what it looks like. Some of us can hold our ground. And I'm going to go to show it for as jazz too. We can hold our ground, hold our own, take care of our household, clean up, fold our shit. You know what I'm saying? We just don't have a loose house. I'm just saying. Now, looking at her house, y'all, in her kitchen, how do you... I, First of all, it's too small. I'm just saying. It's too small. I know you have more than one, more than two, more than three kids. Your house is too small. Your kitchen is too small. Now, when your washer and dryer has to be right across from the sink, right across from the stove, your house is too small. But at the end of the day, when you having all those babies, that's what you have to deal with. You have to find places that you can Try to afford, okay? Try to afford. And I feel it's sad because at the end of the day, as being a black woman, you can't have better than that. But some of y'all want to lower y'all standards. You know what I'm saying? Lower your standards to have this. Okay, yeah, it's an old house. 
But it don't have to look that bad, though. You should want better than that for yourself and for your kids. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy to me because, you know, she's another one like Jazz. She another one like Chrissy. But at least at the end of the day, Chrissy is trying to hold her on. She's trying, but she still falls in the same stereotype because these ladies don't have all their shit together. Can't hold their household together. You know what I'm saying? Can't pay their bills straight. But at the same time, want to keep opening their legs up. You know what I'm saying? Keep having babies. And at the end of the day, they wind up being by themselves at the end. Like... Do you not know your worth? Did your mama not teach you your worth? You get what I'm saying? I get it maybe the first time, maybe the second time. And some people might sit here and say, how the hell is you talking and you, you, you single? I'm going to tell you. Because it's by choice. Okay? It's by choice. It's because I'm, I'm a very indecisive person. Okay? And I have just learned that about myself. And it took until now for me to learn that. I can have a good man. I can have a good baby daddy or however but it's just some shit I can't put up with because I feel like I deserve more or I feel like they can do more and if I can't get it then guess what I can do the shit by myself I'm just saying and then another reason why is maybe because they're doing some dumb shit that I just won't put up with. On the other hand, we talking about, yeah, my jazzy life. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way I'll put up with a man, you know what I'm saying, that's breaking me down and depressing me and I can't handle my kids because I'm so worried about him. Just can't, won't happen, period. Okay? So that's why I say... Single mother, that's not what it looks like. Maybe on they behalf because they don't know how to keep their legs closed. You know what I'm saying? That's probably what it looks like. But for all single mothers, that's not what it looked like. I'm just saying, okay? But yeah, I seen the kitchen, y'all. It's really... <laughs> y'all, I don't know what to say. Because everything is sad. It's like you... You should want more for your kids. You should even want more for yourself. You know what I'm saying? When you have to sit back and just take less because you just don't want to do or you too lazy to do or you just, you just, you just don't want better. It's hard. At some point, it's got to click. At some point, you got to get it to say, hey, enough is enough. I can't give my kids the proper things. I can't provide things in my house or have a, 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 a good roof over my heads for me and my family. So at some point, it has to stop. It has to give, okay? I should be tired of raising kids by my damn self. And at the end of the day, all I can do is give them less than. I'm just saying Looking at that, the, I didn't even look at the whole video. I looked at the kitchen. I looked over there where that's supposed to be a, um, a kitchen table, dining room table. That's what I'm saying. Get up off y'all ass and start taking care of y'all business. At least at the end of the day, if you want to sit up and have kids back to back, have shit and know your worth. You know what I'm saying? Quit trying to make shit out of nothing and have something. You know what I'm saying? You can have better than what you have and still take care of your household. But when all you do is lay on your back and make babies and then you sit back on YouTube and feel like that's the way that's going to get you to the top. It's just not. It's just not. And at the end, I feel so bad for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Maybe because I was brought up so different because my mama tried to give me everything that I always wanted. You know what I'm saying? When we wanted shit, she would get it. You know what I'm saying? And some kids is raised up in a household and their mama is so busy continuing to make babies. They don't have time to provide like them kids like they should. I just don't understand and I don't get it, y'all. I just don't. And I be trying to get it because it's like, damn, you have so many kids and this is what your house look like and you feel like it's okay to put this shit on YouTube. It's not okay. And then at the end of the day, when somebody starts to talk about CPS and I'm grabbing Jazz in there too, start talking about CPS, you feel like they wrong. And you feel like, oh, if they call CPS on me and CPS come here and this, this, they ain't gonna do shit. How the hell they ain't? First of all, that's neglect. First of all, <laughs> kids is not supposed to live in a situation like that. I'm just saying. How do you have dirty clothes and trash where you cook and prepare food? I'm just saying. That don't mix. Not at all. 
It doesn't matter if you was on bed rest. It doesn't matter. You got to get your ass up and make sure, make sure your shit is intact for your kids. I'm just saying. Now, that video there opened my eyes to a lot of things of these ladies having kids that, you know what I'm saying, they ain't even prepared for. You know, I can be downright and struggling and don't have enough to even provide for my damn self like I want to, but making a baby is easy. You know what I'm saying? So I can continue to do that. And I know at the end of the day, I don't have enough to provide for them properly. I don't have enough to buy the things that they actually need. I don't have enough to buy the proper things. You know what I'm saying? I just have enough to make it off of. It's sad, man. And it's just like, y'all young. You know what I'm saying? This is a time to where you catch on and you catch it. You know what I'm saying? Because then once you get older, you're going to look back and be like, damn, I should have did that different. But then at the same time, it might be too late because you too caught up. And ain't no man going to want you living like that. Ain't no man going to want you all washed up and used up because you have had so many kids. They just don't. And that go the same way with strong mommy Chrissy. They just don't. They'll come and tap and bend it over and then they gone and if you get pregnant in the process oh well hell <laughs> i'm just saying it's no way that you should have all these kids and you have no kid father in place y'all can scream all the time i was married i was married what about now you don't see that it's a struggle you raising these kids by yourself because I'm on the outside looking in and I'm telling you already, baby girl, it's a struggle. First of all, I ain't no way I'm going to live in a house like that, but when you ain't got your shit together and you got to accept less than, that's what it is. Because you shouldn't have to accept less than and stay anywhere. But when you can't provide for you and yours, you got to accept what you can get. I'm just saying if you got stove that's painted, if you got walls that's cracking, you, you, you got to accept it because this is what you can afford because you don't want to take care of your shit and you don't want to close your legs. So this is what you got to get. I feel it's sad. But that's why I say it's not all about downing them or, you know what I'm saying, really trying to come at their necks. These ladies have problems. And it's thought here. And it's thought here. And it shows. It shows because you have kids that you, you you can't properly take care of. You just can't. They not even in a good living situation just by looking at the kitchen. I'm just saying. Y'all, it's sad. Because I feel like when you look at that, you think all single mothers is like that. Oh, if you ain't got no man. You got kids. That's what it's like. No, that's not what it's like. That's not what it's like. It's all about having what you can handle. If I have these kids with this man at the end of the day, if it don't work out, if he leave, if I leave and I have my kids, I can still do what I need to do. We don't have to struggle. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to take less than. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to go without. I don't have to struggle. You know why? Because I think about it. Like, damn, three kids is enough. You know what I'm saying? We could still do what we need to do right now. Y'all still eating. Y'all still in a clean place. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to stay just anywhere because the rent is convenient. You know what I'm saying? Or because I'm staying here because I can't pay rent. So this is where we got to live. Anywhere. I'm just saying Y'all, it's crazy. I was doing my first scan and I started off on that. I have never been over there. And when I seen it, I had to say, oh my God, it's sad. And y'all get on here and put this shit on YouTube. And then once y'all put it on YouTube, y'all be want to clap back when somebody say some shit about y'all. Shouldn't You shouldn't put the shit on here in the first place. You put on, <laughs> you put on here a, what you want the people to talk about. If you didn't want nobody to talk about that, you wouldn't have put it on here. I don't care what nobody said for as a clean with me or however. You could tell me this shit all day, but I ain't finna make my house like that for everybody to see. I'm just not gonna do it. But at the end of the day, I do feel bad for them kids, just like Jazzy Life. Just like Chrissy. I'm just saying. They need to stop having kids. Stop having kids if you can't take care of them properly. I'm just saying. 
it's sad. So, <laughs> that was my thought on that, y'all. Um, I'm still doing the other scan. I'll be back, okay? This is my reaction for that, just watching Sky's life. I don't really know, because like I said, I haven't been to the channel. I just did my first scan, and this is what I got by looking at that video. It was like, girl, if you having all these babies with no man... Okay, got your house like that. You know what I'm saying? If you having all these kids and you have to accept less than because you can't take care of, you can't provide for all these babies that you making, that's a sad damn story. Anyways, y'all, if y'all like this video, let's throw them th uh, 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 thumbs up. And if y'all have not, I ask y'all do subscribe because it's Lala P.